welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video on the Estee Lauder fragrances. I'm gonna be taking you through their range of perfumes and let you know what my favorites are. There are some real gems in the Estee Lauder range, I feel, so I wanted to take you through them all. I do have videos like this on other whole brands and their ranges, along with hundreds of other videos, so do check them all out. And if you're a regular viewer, do make sure you're subscribed and give the video a thumbs up, that really helps me. And in the description box, I will link to where you can get all these perfumes all around the world, as well as the links to my blog and my social London shop where you can get my perfumes, Empress Aphrodite and my super concentrated soy wax candles including my new limited edition Christmas ones. Cool, so Estee Lauder of course is an American brand started a long time ago. I understand that Estee actually worked in like a cosmetic store, in a department store and literally created the brand herself, selling it herself. She used to sort of make over women and it's now grown to be you know a multi-billion pound empire. They actually own a lot of other brands. They have their Estee Lauder fragrances, but they also own loads of others as well. I think everything from like Tom Ford to saint Tropez Tan. So often, you know, when you go in a department store, you'll see the Estee Lauder counter and usually the ones around it are also owned by them as well. Fun fact. They've actually just launched their products in Marks and Spencers here in the UK and they kindly sent me this really cool sort of set of some of their best-selling fragrances to celebrate that. So you can now get these at Marks and Spencers. I'll leave those links in the description as well. So for me, there are kind of two cool ranges which I really love from Estee Lauder. The first is the beautiful Magnolia. Now, when this first came out, I was so pleasantly and genuinely surprised with the lasting power, the projection of beautiful Magnolia. Magnolia is a perfume note I've always liked. It's very sparkling, fresh, clean, feminine, pretty. It has that real sparkling element to it, but often it fades quickly. Usually it's like in a top note and then disappears. And what I was really impressed with in Beautiful Magnolia is that it didn't disappear. You really, you could rely on this perfume. So it's probably my top recommendation for a Magnolia perfume. And this is the original Eau de Parfum and they're pretty reasonably priced as well. They have also an intense version, which is a little bit confusing because even though it's called Called Beautiful Magnolia Intense, it's actually an iris fragrance. So this is more along your lines of Le Vie Belle Iris Absolu or the new Le Extract version, um, your powdery deep iris. It's totally different to Beautiful Magnolia Original. There's also a low version, which is very fresh, light. It doesn't have the projection of the original because it's an eau de toilette. So the original is definitely my top recommendation for spring perfumes, like clean, fresh, every day and it is a beautiful scent it's correctly named so beautiful magnolia i guess is kind of inspired by one of the classic estee lauder fragrances estee lauder beautiful that i have here now this is a scent when you smell it you are kind of it awakens a lot of memories a lot of people usually of an older generation than me wear this perfume and when i smell it i immediately think of different people it came out in the 80s 1985 i think this was one that a lot of celebrities wore maybe even princess diana wore this i can't quite remember and it literally has every floral fragrance note in it you can imagine. It's like an ultimate bouquet. For me, the main notes are a slightly mossy floral, geranium, carnation, mimosa. It's quite a classical 80s floral scent. And again, the lasting power is, you know, you really smell this on someone when they wear it. But I feel like Beautiful Magnolia is a more 21st century version of this sort of late 20th century classic. They do also have one called Beautiful Bell, which comes in a similar bottle to Beautiful Magnolia, but you don't really see it advertised that much. You've got the mimosa in, the white florals, but there's a marzipan note in there, which adds a warmth, sweetness, almondiness. You've also got a bit of suede. So it is kind of like a slightly more updated version of Beautiful, but it doesn't have the freshness of Beautiful Magnolia, which is my favorite from all the different beautiful perfumes. So the other big favorite for me from Estee Lauder is their Bronze Goddess range. The original sort of core fragrance is called Bronze Goddess Eau Fresh 
and this is I think it's an eau de toilette and it's a really fresh coconut sunscreen with like a sort of chiari flower tropical florals in it really does remind me of holiday and in the summer they always bring out you know you've got all the bronzers and body lotions and all sort of summery products that go with it um, and I always wear this in the summer it does have some similarities with my Aphrodite perfume which is kind of like this but with lots of mango as well bronze goddess also comes in an eau de parfum which is much more coconutty warmer has some amber in I'd recommend this maybe for the evening time or if you're really looking for a stronger coconut perfume and this year they brought out a limited edition bronze goddess l'eau de lumiere now this is limited and it's difficult to find now I'll see if I can find it in the and leave links to, below for you guys but this is actually a lemon leaf perfume so it's green lemony mm really addictively fresh in my view I love this I really want to create a lemon perfume one day so I think this will definitely be one of the inspirations behind it just very very fresh clean I love this but yeah it was limited edition so they have they are still making some of their classic perfumes from 70s the 80s youth juice probably the one that stands out as very much like a classic Estee Lauder scent it's an insanely strong perfume spicy ambery oriental very very heavy very very strong even the liquid is like dark brown it's kind of a little bit like Dior's poison and the same sort of time period as well and um, but I feel like they're probably worn by people that have been wearing them for a long time and probably not really being discovered by new purchases but please correct me if you've recently discovered one of the classic Estee Lauder perfumes so there is then a collection of perfumes from Estee Lauder called Erin now Erin is the granddaughter of Estee Lauder and this is like her baby her range the range is quite extensive now my personal favorite is hibiscus palm they all come in these bottles and they're a little bit more expensive than the other Estee Lauder perfumes but they are beautiful and they do last well so this is a coconut tropical um, hibiscus scent I'm definitely gonna create a hibiscus perfume at some point because um, I really love this definitely feels quite tropical summery but it really lasts and when I wear this I always get people asking me what am I wearing I really find it lasts well so even though it's expensive it's hundred pounds for the 50 mil it does perform well I think her best seller is Mediterranean honeysuckle which is a quite a fresh breeze easy honeysuckle but they've brought out a limited edition of this this year which I've noticed some places do still have some stock left of which is called Mediterranean honeysuckle clementina and this one has the clementine the orange notes added to the honeysuckle which I really like for me that really like added that fruity note that I like really beautiful in this summertime and of course the packaging of the Erin perfumes is so pretty as well they do have another collection luxury collection I think it's called that I have a video of um, that I'll leave link below because it's a huge collection those have some really interesting scents in and they come in quite unique bottles as well I think I got a sample set of that and they definitely have a sample set of the Erin range so I'll leave that um, link below as well but for me like beautiful magnolia great for spring bronze goddess great for summer and the air and fragrances have ones you can wear throughout the year so there's sort of something for everyone if from the Estee Lauder perfumes and um, so they're my favorites let me know guys what your favorites are from Estee Lauder do you agree with me what else would you add to this list what do you think of the really classic ones uh, do let me know in the comments I always read all your comments and like I said everything will be linked in the description box to where you can find these but that's it so thanks so much for watching as always and I will see you in the next video bye